Hello my judges, it's time for a new Hearthstone deck, and this time it's time to rock and roll with Undead Mage. The inspiration behind this deck is the fact that Amalgam of the Deep actually only has two mage targets within all of standard Hearthstone, which is Morgresh, Fire Eye, and Kel'Thuzad, which also acts as a big capstone for the other synergy that we are abusing in this deck, which is Skeleton Mage. Skeleton Mage has a bunch of undeads. Who would have thought, right? Turns out this deck was incredibly, incredibly consistent. Across the 20 games I played with the deck, it had a 55% win rate, which was much higher than I had originally expected it to. All right, now time for the Mulligan Guide. You are going to be looking for any early game minion. This includes anything that costs three or lower that isn't named Brand's Bronzebeard or Zola. While this might sound a little bit weird for Foul Egg and Banshee if you have no other undead minions in your open hand, Foul Egg can stick around on the board so you have an automatic target for Amalgam of the Deep because most people will just leave it there. Or if you have a Wildfire, then you can actually just ping your own Foul Egg, giving you a 3-3 instead if you really need to. Wildfire, speaking of which, is also really good to keep in your open hand as this will allow you to scale up your hero power damage. And finally, Arcane Intellect is the last card I would consider keeping in my open hand. With that all being said, let's look at some games. All right, now time for a game against Druid. Let's see what they actually have in store for us because there are a few different versions of Druid floating around right about now. This open hand doesn't look that bad. Reckless Apprentice might be something that we want to get rid of along with the location and keeping uh eh, it's a really hard toss up between keeping the location or cold case i kind of want to go with cold case just because it gives us some undead synergy i did not want to see keltazot there if it, <laughs> he's a card <laughs> that i would have rather stayed in the deck if anything mm. well yes it is what it is Oh, so they're going to be aggro. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Let's just use Wildfire. Ah, Iron Deep Trog. That's not going to stick around, my friend. We have the perfect answer for that next turn. Though, getting rid of the Taunt might be better in the long run. I mean, this deck does run a lot of... Sp oh, not really a lot of spells, but important spells. A Herald of Nature. That's, that's annoying to deal with. A 3-5, how are we actually going to do it? Okay, so we have... Huh. Well, Arms Dealer is funny. Actually, we could coin out the Arms Dealer, maybe? No, let's just freeze the 3-5. Hopefully, they'll actually attack with the 3-1 into the 2-2, two -two, but you never know. They probably won't. I wouldn't if I was playing aggro, to be honest, but that's just me. Oh, no, if I was playing aggro, I would. I know me, and I would. That's probably why I like this deck so much. I have a tendency to always trade even in aggro matchups and whenever you do trade in this deck you don't really lose that much damage because they all have the death rattle okay five six is going to be huh hmm well uh, probably should have actually coined that out let's just pass the turn back oh actually i get I, I get it i realize why i didn't coin anything out because we have deathborn in hand so we can use it next turn on overextend you know you wanna they always overextend perfect exactly what we need to see not what i want to see they're just making the big things even bigger okay okay so we have three on bar or oh we have four on board i think i forgot okay we would have had four on board and then we can just freeze that out it's still not a bad turn to be honest Keltazod is actually getting really, really big. Most of the games that I play, he feels like the the worst out of the two win conditions. Getting additional copies of him usually don't matter too much. I wanted to try to find room for the Nerubian Wizard, I think it's called, but I, I don't know what you would cut out. Maybe the, the other Bone Flinger that I have, and then maybe one of the Arm Stealers. That would raise the curve a little bit, but you could. I also could technically get rid of Bran because the double battle cry on Bran doesn't... Outside of Reckless Apprentice doesn't come up much. Oh, that's... That's funny. I don't know if we need it. Oh, oh Fire Eye, but we don't actually have any damage to go into the Fire Eye. Speaking of damage, that is a wild draw. Okay, let's just try to clear out everything we can. Come on. That didn't... Well... That's, that still accomplishes what we need. We're at 7 HP. I do not like being this low against Druid, especially Aggro Druid, since they have... Okay, that doesn't do anything. They have their Hero Power that does 1 damage per turn. And then... 
what else do they have access to? That might be a problem. Um, the choose one that summons either the one ones or does two damage to face, which they... <laughs> Speaking of which, there we go. Oh, okay. We, we're on a three turn clock unless we top deck cold case. Uh, oh, <laughs> actually, this is kind of funny because we can get <laughs> what? Two more undeads. Oh, uh, let's go with the oh double heal or double possibility of heal. Let's kill that. It's their face. If we had one more mana, we could actually just ping our own our mistress of mixtures. Let's put down arms dealer and mistress because that's three damage for free. Come on, don't have anything for brand. We, we can't use Fire Eye this turn, or coming up turn, but I think our Kel'Thuzad is... Oh, good old nine skeletons have died so far, and it's only turn seven. Uh, we we want to blizzard away their face. I, I, I don't, there, there was a joke or a pun or something there that I could have made. I, I, I don't know. Your fate is inevitable. We shall win through Kel'Thuzad. Rise, my minion. And then we're just going to splurge a little bit. Oh, the damage stops going through. But we win! Now, do we hero power or do we use this? I think we hero power. This could have been funny. We could have forced them to use their hero power to get rid of it, plus their minion. Or they could have added an R1. And since that's one blood, that doesn't really tell us. I'd assume if they were pure blood, they'd be 40 cards, right? One. Yeah, I think they're rainbow, which is cool. Uh, that's a really, really neat idea of a deck. That I wanted to do my own twist on, but <laughs> Vander wasn't... There's not enough with Vander right now. I think Reno rainbow might be fun, at least unique. So we, we might We might do that. Yeah, that's actually probably going to be what the next uh, Death Knight deck I do is. is some type of Reno Death Knight, because I'm going to try to get all the possible... Okay, that basically confirms it. It's just uh, Rainbow. I'm going to try to get all the possible... Oh, that's interesting. We're just going to slam it down. Reno decks with each individual class before it rotates out. Before he rotates out again. Because Reno is one of my favorite like build around cards. Perfect. Thank you for hitting that. Oh, that makes this a little bit worse. On average, at least. Come on. I mean, yeah, why not? We have the majority of frost spells in the deck. But almost every single time I place this down, I get something that isn't frost. Okay, game. I was going to say Deathborn, but, um, old case. <laughs> Asking you shall receive again, I guess. All right, we're going to kill this. Pop that, kill that. Hopefully they'll have enough things for Death Ball to actually be worth it next turn, but never know. Yes, yes, overextend here, please. Oh, I guess that's not really overextended, but yes, please. Oh, we need one more mana for what I wanted to really, really do. Well, um, that's funny. I'm gonna ping this. We're gonna put two of these down. Oh, we probably should have put down our arm still or two. Oh, hey there. How are y'all? I see my uh, chat box is still still not working. I thought, oh, no, it, it just takes a while. Yeah, I, I need to remember like once in a once every so often to actually uh, log back into uh, Streamlabs or whatever the hell the program that I use is, uh, which is what or stream elements. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll work on that. I think it's just because of um, what the font is. Problem is, I think we're probably dead next turn. I say next turn, and we might be... Well, yeah. Uh, well, this is funny. We'll give it an additional attack. Um, The majority of them technically do become... Um, videos. It's just 
they're usually highlights depending on what the deck actually is uh i please <laughs> holy shit we we actually lived <laughs> Hey, time for a game against Shaman. Yeah, that is a Shaman portrait, right? It's Murloc Ragnaros. Out of that is one of the skins that I kind of wish I had uh, picked up when it was out. Can't remember why I didn't. I had the Wow Gold at the time. Well, Arms Dealer against Shaman and no Undeads is really well. It isn't the worst thing in the world. The chances of them actually having a minion to kill this is extremely low. I mean, they could. Oh, that could do it. Okay, okay. Can we top deck into some uh, second arms dealer? Okay. Not necessarily what I wanted, but it's actually not the worst thing in the world. I'm trying to think what characters I want to put on the thumbnail. I really want to use arms dealer on some type of thumbnail. Although goes both of the uh, arms dealers. Why couldn't I have drawn you a turn earlier? Hey, there's cold case. They'll kill one of the one. Oh, they'll kill both of them. Okay, okay. We can make that work. Unchill. It's getting a little bit chilly in here. Even for our Frostweave Dungeoneer. Oh, that is fun. Let's just draw some cards. Volatile Skeleton. We're going to about to get volatile in here. Let's raise the temperature a little bit with that wildfire oh they're evolved shaman okay okay evolved shaman actually feels incredibly incredibly good if i only hadn't done a shaman deck literally a week ago well not a week ago on friday then we can just freeze this out got eight left Oldshire null muck pools that's going to be a little bit annoying to deal with. Uh, out of all the possibilities that could have been at 8-8 eight, eight with nothing else on it is actually pretty good for us. Because that could have went south really, really quickly. Oh, Banshee. Banshee doesn't do much. At least here. We also huh, should have pinged the 0-2 or maybe the 8-8, eight, eight, but it is what it is. Sometimes you make little mistakes like that here and there. Primordial. This is why I don't like facing Evolved Shaman with this deck. Okay. <laughs> I, I, will, I will take a Bran. Plus a Reckless Apprentice. Okay, that's four damage to everything. That kills everything besides Deathwing. And we can just go face, I guess. Oh, huh. <laughs> Bran, please, please stay alive for a turn. I would love to see 20 damage out of Fire Eye next turn. That would be so glorious if we saw that. I don't think it's going to probably happen, but please. I've never wanted anything more in my life right now in Hearthstone. Okay, actually, no. There was that one deck that had like... <laughs> the 20 games I played with it, I think I won the three games that were in the video and that's it. Uh, Good times. That was over a year ago. I miss Silas Darkmoon. That was probably one of my favorite cards from that rotation. Oh, please don't evolve into anything. Gotta love seeing a Null turn into an Art Null. But we're gonna rock and roll their face. Okay, they're at 14. Come on. Either Zola or Amalgam of the Deep. That's what we want to see. Oh, we got some damage. They only got two heals out of that. Okay. That doesn't do what you need. Zola. Oh. Want now can can we well I know you don't have to do it like this I probably could have just targeted Fire Eye and saw he, if we got another Fire Eye but oh no wanted to be safe come on stick around y you know you want to stick around Evolve Shaman has a lot of random bullshit that you can actually pull off so they could in theory pull this out of nowhere I think they use both of their nulls. That is how you could pull it out of nowhere. Uh, hmm. That wave is not what we want to see. Oh. <laughs> Bone Lord. Huh. Man, that had to feel bad. Well, let's 
go for our encore and finish them off. Oh, Druid, fun. Is this going to be aggro versus aggro, or is this going to be ramp versus aggro? Um, I'm keeping... Uh, Keeping this. We're going first. I kind of kind of would have preferred the extra card. And of course, of course, Zola. Good old Zola. <laughs> I had a feeling this would happen where I'd just... Oh, well, I can't complain anymore, I guess. I'm not allowed to complain if we can top deck into Wildfire. Wildfire is really nice. I can complain if we top deck into Magister, though. Doesn't really do anything for us right now. And I don't think they're going to be ag room because they it looks like they huh well okay so they're going to be combo fun oh volatile skeleton yeah well why not we actually have undead to put them down now this could be a problem because i think we'll run out of resources before they do oh we could get rid of the second bone flinger for um not alistair astalor not technically what i want to do but we technically could Actually, let's just keep the integrity of this being undead mage a little bit. Zola makes sense for the theme just because it's a, our chance at our key combos that usually stick around on the board for at least one additional turn. And if they don't, they don't. Then we can use this next turn and draw into the other one. Perfect. There's Deathborn. Might as well put this down too. I also do realize the Banshee's actually kind of anti-synergistic with the Deathborn, but... I'm okay with that. It, it it works pretty well. We're still weirdly <laughs> at a positive win rate with this deck. Not something I'd actually expected for the most part. Would have expected this deck to do a little bit worse than it already is. Well, it is technically doing. Oh, that's funny. But we don't need it yet. What are the chances we get another... Oh, I guess pretty high. No. I guess it was a 50 percent chance of getting that oh there goes our board yeah that's probably the smart decision and get rid of everything that would trigger a deathborn uh bit annoying for us but it's fine it's fine it's fine we can still win we're we're actually a pretty decent position amalgam's funny because we can get a fire eye no uh, well, later that this could be real nice, so we're just going to grab it. Going to go face. We are we are aggro. We don't mind leaving up a three two, and we have a pretty good HP pool. And plus, it's a three two. We actually kind of want that to stay around for a little bit longer. You cannot crack my carapace. Well, big taunts are. Uh aren't going to be the easiest thing to deal with. Oh, that's funny. That's actually really, really funny. We can freeze that out. We can get that low, kind of. Not super low. Oh, I'll take a free one of these. Okay, so we need to get rid of this. I don't know how we get rid of... Well, Fire Eye is how we get rid of it, but... A second taunt to deal with. Not technically what I want to see. Okay, okay. How to deal with this board. Haven't used Deathborn yet. We... Oh. Hmm. I don't think Deathborn does much for us. So we're just going to do it like this. We'll draw some cards, I think. We'll gain another... Yeah. More armor. More damage. We're at what? Five. Okay. Game. Perfect. Let me just aim that. Okay, okay, okay. We're now we're at six. I'm worried because of what they could possibly have in their hand. You could have at least hit that. Okay, we're at six. Hey, this is just funny. It's immune. Then we pop everything. Come on. <laughs> well, uh, this is going to end incredibly bad for us or incredibly good for us in the next turn or two.
Because they haven't actually found Alistair yet, which is a good sign for us, I guess. Then we can Deathborn next turn if we really, really need to. Actually, we probably will. Oh, there's the Alistair. I guess I spoke it into existence now, didn't I? What are they searching for? Actually, you know what would be really fun? For us, not for them. Okay, game. Give me something cool. Take it. Not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Come on, hit here first. No. So it doesn't matter if we attack there or not. Oh, thank you. All right, that was a lot closer than I expected it to be. Okay, now that we're through the games, let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. Overall, this deck was a pleasant surprise with around a 55% win rate across the 20 games I actually played with the deck. Turns out most people aren't expecting undead synergy within a mage right now, but it is a really powerful unexplored hidden gem of a deck, I would say, as this did allow me to get all the way back up to Diamond 5, where I normally sit most of the time. And while I'm not normally a big fan of aggro-based decks, this deck actually at times feels more like a control deck than a aggro deck, probably mainly due to the fact that the Skeleton Mage package serves as a way to control the board while also generating you a wide board and thus doing a lot of damage to your opponent's face. While also having the hero power package within the deck, first your opponent for a bunch of damage through the two big finishers within the deck. Which is the reason why I actually want to recommend this one because it is a nice little mixture of being aggro and control. And if you really like either of those style of decks, this is the perfect deck for you. And like always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye bye.